Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how we can draw longitudinal profile on AutoCAD from the Excel file data. Firstly, let's move on to how the data must be arranged in the Excel file. Here, I have the data sample which are arranged in three columns containing chain edge at, at 20 meter interval and their corresponding reduced level as you can see here and also you can include a third column for remarks if you need any then you open the AutoCAD and remember that the Excel file should be stored in the order as I have previously shown you because Besides AutoCAD, we are going to use another application called SWTTM and the application will show error in data if it is stored in any other order. The link for the SWTTM app will be provided in the description. Now, let's open this SWTTM app. Let's go to this AutoCAD again. Go to this SWTTM and under this cross section heading, you can see there is YAL profile and cross section. Go to it and go to draw YAL profile. Here, in order to read the data, you have to select uh, from your Excel file because we have stored our data in the Excel file. And you can leave the rest of this as it is and click on this. First, select this data. So I have this sample data for a one kilometer length. Select these three columns. Then go to SWDTM. And here you can click on execute once you have selected all your data in the Excel. Then click on execute and the application will read the data and create the YAL profile from it. To draw it on AutoCAD, Click on draw all and pick any point as a reference point on AutoCAD. After you have clicked on AutoCAD, you can see that your profile is drawn in this AutoCAD as a drawing. Now here you can see there is changes on the bottom half and corresponding existing level on the top of those changes. Now I can check my changes and corresponding rl from the excel file and the drawing here for so for example let me go over here to the chain is 0 plus 100 on the drawing and see its corresponding rl which is 891.048 and then go to my excel file and see the same chain is which is 0 plus 100 and its rl which is also the same 891.048 so as you can see, my Excel file is now plotted on AutoCAD in the form of drawing. Now if I want to calculate the cut and fill area, I need to make sure my drawing is on scale. Here I am checking my horizontal scale. Since the distance between these two changes should be 20 and the actual distance is also 20, the horizontal scale is true. Now let's see my vertical scale over here. The distance between two RL should be 1, 876 and 875, but if I measure this distance, I can see the actual distance between them is 10. So the figure is not actually in this scale. And if we calculate area in this condition, the area would not be the correct one. Here, let me give you an example by drawing a formation line. Let me try it over here, over here. Finally, end it here. Now, if I calculate this cut area over here, it will give me an area of 1753 square meter which is not the correct one because as you can see there is a discrepancy 
in this scale over here so this should be 1 but it is actually 10 now what I need to do is I need to adjust my scale so again go to SWTTM I need to adjust my particle scale let me adjust it to 1000 and then again click on draw all and then again click pick any point as a reference point then new drawing on a different scale will be drawn as you can see here now again let me draw the formation line After completing my formation line, let me calculate the area across one section, whether it may be cut or whether it may be filled. Since we used an area for cut last time, let's use an area for fill this time. Okay, let me measure the area of this section. Area command. I'm going to select this points over here, all the in points. In between these lines and then I'm gonna see that my area is now 159.53 square meter now let me again check whether my scale are correct or not so I'm again gonna check my horizontal scale the distance between these two chain it should be 20 which is 20 so it is okay now let me check the distance between these two points which should be 10 as you can see from the change in elevation level now let me measure it which also gives me the value 10 so the area calculated in this drawing will be equal since this drawing is in actual scale 